Hello everybody, what's going on guys? I just want to teach you some more interesting things about the uploading and downloading, about the web hosting, about the uh, the domains, by the way. Actually, I just want to show you that you just know about that we can use the file manager to upload the file, to download the file, but there is another way. We can use the FTP, as I just said to you already. So how to work on the FTP, just click there and type google.com go to the google.com I'm going there wait for a single minute it's loading so now basically we just need a kind of FTP server there are a lot of servers or basically the software we need we can use the FileZilla we can use the Qt FTP we can use the Smart FTP I'm just gonna guide you about uh, using the FileZilla okay the FileZilla is there and then you can see that the filezilla-project.org you can download that just click uh, on the website of the filezilla and you will get the access on it yeah now the filezilla server the filezilla client I just want the filezilla client client for now so simply click on that one and don't need to read all these things which are not necessary just click on the download just simply this this thing uh, this software can install the files just click on the download now and it's about to download Yes, it is. Your download will start shortly. In some minutes, you will see that it will be downloaded from the website. Yes, it is. So, by the way, you can just simply click on OK and you can download the filezilla, which is not a big problem for anyone to download any file. So, how do how do I make a access on it? Just go inside. Just go to your start menu or just open the filezilla by any any meaning anyway. I'm just going to the FileZilla here, the FileZilla, and click on the software. Now, this is the FileZilla, you can see that. What more I need? I just need to type the host name, the username, and the password. All these three things are really required. So, first of all, in the host, what was the host of, uh, of us? If I just go there, the host was the pktutorial.com. Okay. Don't forget that the domain name is the host but before that one thing more you know that the pktutorial.com is not only the host the http then the pktutorial but there we have to type the ftp instead of the http okay don't type ftp uh, uh, the http by the way put the period here then www or just directly type the dot pktutorial.com this is the host the ftp dot pktutorial.com and go there to the username and in the username just type the PK whatever your username is my username is just like my website name and my password you know that monkey123 which is not my password by the way <laughs> just click on the quick connect and after the clicking on quick connect it's stabilizing and it is easy don't click on the always trust or easy just click on OK and uh, it's verifying it's retrieving directly list directory listing uh, it's connected basically the password and ID is true come on let me connect on so I got that here I'm on the web hosting of mine okay by using this FTP software I'm in the hosting now you can see that the public FTP the public HTML I just need to go inside the public HTML uh, so simply you can just double click on the folder where you just want to access and now you can see all these things the bootstrap the CGI bin the CMS the HR and EDC the news tube the WP includes the Sean the QR just suppose the first one was the bootstrap and then the CMS and HR if I just go there and I just go to the file manager I'll see the same things just click on the web root okay I, I just need to log in that back the login has been expired by the way, just, I just clicked on that back and just click on the file manager and then the web root and click on go. I just want to show you that there is same things which was there. The bootstrap, the CGI bin, the CMS and the HR. Let's just see. The bootstrap, CGI bin, CMS and the HR. All the files are the same. Basically, we are there here. Okay. So, the benefit of the FTP is that we can upload the large files by easy ways. We just don't need to be... Uh, to just extract the four folders or the compress the folders EDC just simply select the folder for example you know that we just created a new project here 
and the landing page etc I'm just deleting all these things I'm just deleting the new project for now okay and there I'm just going inside the bootstrap sorry about that this one is not the perfect bootstrap where I just want to go I just want to go to the desktop and uh, how to go to the desktop I just need to go to the users and the default user and the desktop sorry the default user the public desktop come on I think this one yeah I got that the master project and the bootstrap and this is the landing page you can upload the complete folders enter directory or be sorry about uh, first of all I just need to change the file name so rename it and just put the underscore and just simply right click and click on upload so now the complete folder is uploading one the files are uploading one by one as you can see there are around 30 files in the queue and now 29 28 27 6 it's going fastly not bad now you can see that all the files have been uploaded just for confirming that uh, just for showing you that basically that we just uploaded this folder throughout uh, through the FTP so I'm just adding some more things the FTP okay the landing page FTP I just updated the file name go to the browser to check that out and uh, here just reload the file you won't see this new project anymore I just reloaded the file the for uh, the whole public HTML basically and now the landing page FTP that means this folder has came from the you know the FTP exactly this is looking awesome now go to the browser to check that that is if it is working perfectly or no now we just don't need to type the FTP or something just directly type the PK tutorial.com slash landing page FTP and press enter now it will make your access inside that file that folder yeah the FTP and now learn bootstrap that means the files allow is working perfectly this is pretty awesome and pretty simple just need to use the host the username and the password you just don't need to do anything with this port and uh, interestingly you can save your history for example I just made access on this file in this uh, uh, I'm hosting the PK tutorial so now it will be listed here the PK tutorial FTP PK tutorial FTP OG the unicorn EDC all all the other websites are there the other thing is you can save the website or the web hosting in the panel too. just click on there you can see these are the saved files so just click on the panel open the site manager basically the site manager and click on the new site and there you just need to put the host the pktutorial.com is already saved you can see that okay now just put the host name just select the protocol the FTP and select the use plain FTP don't need to be super secure the plane is insecure is too good and just choose the normal login and type the username and the password I'm just gonna show you first okay I just wanna delete I just didn't select any history now it's continuously asking me to put the host name so I'm just putting the host name by the way dot com now just click on the PK tutorial and I'm just deleting that one yeah now there is no PK tutorial anymore so now let us click on new site and just put the FTP dot PK tutorial dot com and the protocol as FTP and I'm just choosing the the only use plain FTP and the login should not be anonymous it should be normal and for the user I can put the username the pktutorial.com sorry the pktutorial only the other thing is ask of password means this will uh, if you just put the ask of password so whenever you just log in you have to put the password again and again but I'm just choosing the normal type so the pktutorial and the password as I said that monkey123 which is not my password by the way and just click on OK so now go there and now the PK tutorial is not in list click on this oh it's not saved so go back and something wrong I just did by the way the FTP and the only plane and the normal and then the PK tutorial dot com and then here the password one two three and click on connect yeah now they're connecting me establish connection in a new tab or a board previous connection a board previous connection 
basically we can open multiple websites or hostings in a tab way too it's opening oh my the login authentication issue go back to there and you just need to find the issue PK tutorial and the login me again it's logging in yeah maybe I just put it the wrong password by the way but it's working fine I just want to show you and I just showed you how it works so guys in the next class we will learn some more things stay tuned and goodbye